Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Fixtures Reaction. The Premier League Fixtures has just literally been announced not too long ago. So I'm going to react to them, let you know what I'm thinking and hopefully the season looks ever closer which makes me a little boy like Christmas. But anyway guys, let's get straight down to this video. So guys, you know what to do, a big thumbs up what you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, let's go. So, opening day in the Premier League. It goes like Crystal Palace upon Arsenal at Selhurst Park, opening game. And Fulham play Liverpool, newly promoted boys play Fulham at Craven Cottage. Newly promoted Bournemouth play Aston Villa at Vitality Stadium. Leeds versus Wolves. Leicester versus Brentford at King Power Stadium. Newly, newly promoted in Nottingham Forest go to Newcastle away. Spurs go uh, Spurs play Southampton at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, and Everton play Chelsea at Greddison Park. And then two games on the Sunday, which are Man United versus Brighton at Old Trafford, and then West Ham versus Man City at the London City Stadium. That is week one. Go and look up week two. Arsenal play Leicester at the Emirates Stadium. Aston Villa then play Everton at uh, Villa Park. Brentford play Man United at Brentford uh, Community Stadium. Brighton play Newcastle. Now we did play. Well, Brighton did play two different versions of Newcastle last season. Obviously, cause what's going on up at Newcastle, and you know we basically just got to get one. I'm looking forward to actually seeing them play down here with Eddie Howard and, and their squad. Chelsea plays Spurs at Stamford Bridge, big London derby there. Liverpool play Crystal Palace at Anfield. Man City play New, uh, Bournemouth. Bournemouth's got a good first away game there. Nottingham Forest play West Ham. Southampton play Leagues. And Wolverhampton play Fulham. Big game. Mm. Yeah, so it could be a big game there. Um, depends what Wolves turn up. Week three goes as Bournemouth play Arsenal at the Vitality Stadium. Crystal Palace play Aston Villa at uh, Southhurst Park. Everton play Not Forest. That's going to be a good game for Not Forest, I think. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what Everton we get this year, uh, this season. Fulham play Brentford, Leeds play Chelsea, and Leicester plays Southampton. Main like Liverpool, big game there. Um, I do remember, I think it's the club trying to ask the Premier League to hold the big fixtures back to after the World Cup. I couldn't quite see what happened, and it don't look like it uh, to work there, but you know, have to play. Uh, Newcastle play Man City, Spurs play Wolverhampton, West Ham Brighton trip to London Stadium there. That could be a good game for Brighton. Uh, just go over week four quickly. Arsenal play Fulham at the Emirates Stadium, Aston Villa West Ham, Brentford, Everton, Brighton versus Leeds at the Emirates Stadium, Chelsea versus Leicester. Liverpool versus Bournemouth, Man City play Crystal Palace, Nottingham Forest play Spurs, Southampton play Man United, and Wolverhampton play Newcastle. But I'm just going to have a look at see if I can see any big fixtures. Uh, West Ham Spurs, hmm, that could be an interesting game on uh, August the 30th. We well, got Fulham that night as well. Hmm, could be an interesting one. Ch uh, Southampton play Chelsea. Uh, that could be another interesting game. U uh, Liverpool, Newcastle. Man City, not sure it's in that midweek as well. Don't forget this is um, sort of a bit mi mixed and match this season because of the World Cup being held in November. Brighton play Leicester. Just trying to see if I can see any big creatures. Spurs, Fulham, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Mm, that's a pretty good game. Uh, you know, when will Bazuma make his Tottenham 
Dave Young guessing opening day. Bournemouth versus Brighton. South Coast Derby. No South Coast Derby. You can make your mind up about that one. Southampton Brentford. Ah, that could be another good game. May, May six Spurs. Uh, I don't know quite how to call that one. September the 10th. I could actually see myself going to one of them games as well. I mean, I'll, I'm not just saying I'll, I'll go try and go to a game every week. I'm just saying I'll possibly see myself going to one of them Premier League games. Villa Southampton, Brighton Palace, September 17th. Palace comes to the Emirates Stadium first before Brighton go off to Southhurst Park. That's going to be an interesting game, especially right close on in the season as well. Uh, that's going to be a very interesting game there. First North London derby of the season, October the 1st, weekend of October the 1st. I'm saying that probably be moved anyway to TV coverage. Arsenal versus Tottenham at the Emirates Stadium. Crystal Palace play Chelsea on that week as well. Fulham play Newcastle. There's a lot of games going on in London at that time. Liverpool play Brighton at Anfield. Southampton play Everton at St Mary's. The 8th of October, Arsenal Liverpool. Brighton Spurs. There's, there's a lot of more than one interesting fixture. Uh, at this, you know, all at once, really, that it's a tasty Premier League. Man United vs Newcastle, October the 15th. Back to midweek, Brighton Notch Forest at the Emmett Stadium. Newly promoted Forest, I have been to Forest once, but I went on YouTube at the time. Very nice ground up there, great uh, atmosphere. When they uh, play their songs come out of the, um, before, you know, when the players come out. You've heard it, you've heard it, if you're not, then I'll guarantee you to look it up. It sounds brilliant, but I guess with any club that does it with the um, music, it sounds brilliant at the start, because obviously the home fans are looking forward to the home fixture, uh, to the fixture itself. And that's the way fans bank up our own song, but always sing our own songs. Man United versus Spurs, October the 19th. Chelsea versus Man United. October 22nd, Southampton versus Arsenal, Man City Brighton. <laughs> That's a tasty game, there. As I said, there's more than one tasty game. You know, there's more than one big uh, tasty game per week. There's usually just like the one or two, but there's a few that I, you know, I wouldn't mind actually going watching. Bournemouth Spurs, Arsenal not Forest. Brighton Chelsea, that could be an interesting game. We draw, uh, Brighton did draw to Thomas Tuchel's side twice last season as well, so they're going to be looking for revenge. Wolverhampton Brighton, just seeing if I can see on it. Chelsea for Arsenal. These international players have got a big. Um, sort of, you know, big fixtures before the World Cup. Uh, who else we got? Spurs, Liverpool. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, I'm just trying to get up to the uh, last fixture before the World Cup. Brighton, Villa, uh, Fulham United. It could be quite a good game at Craven Cottage, if I'm being brutally honest. Depends what United we're going to get this year. So that is the last... Uh, when was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? November the 12th. It's a Saturday, so that will be the last lot of fixtures before the uh, Premier League and Championship come to a break due to the World Cup. Then we come back on Boxing Day, Southampton Brighton. That's going to be a very, very interesting game um, there at uh, St Mary's. Main Night Notch Forest, 
Leicester, Newcastle, Leeds, Man City, Everton, Crystal Palace, no, Everton, Wolves, sorry, Crystal Palace, Fulham, Chelsea, Bournemouth, Brentford, Spurs, Aston Villa, Liverpool, Arsenal, West Ham. So Arsenal players coming back on the London derby. That's going to be a very interesting time there. December the 31st, there's no games on the 28th. So the next lot would be on the 31st. Brighton play Arsenal. So it got to come down here first before um, Brighton go up to the Emirates Stadium. There's a really lot of tasty fixtures. Fulham, Southampton. Just seeing if there's any big ones there. Can't see any, so we've got to move on. Into the new year now. Southampton, Notts Forest, Main Light, Bournemouth, Leicester, Fulham, Everton, Brighton. So, Ever uh, Brighton go away on just after New Year's Day. Brighton, Liverpool at the Amex Stadium on July the f uh, January the 14th. Spurs, Arsenal on that same weekend as well. There's a lot of tasty fixtures, um, a lot. It's making my mouth water just thinking about the football season, just literally around the corner. You know, as I said, I'm like a boy at Christmas when days like this come. Obviously, next week we've got the EFL as well. So, you know, it's going to be a really, really good season. Um, Fulham Spurs, Arsenal Man United on January 21st. You know what sort of fishes I'm looking out for now. Um, yeah, again, just big ones. Brighton, Bournemouth, February the 4th at the MX Stadium. Spurs, Man City. Wolves, Liverpool there as well. Bournemouth, Newcastle. I'm so interested to see what Newcastle will get this season. Um, you know, over the uh, season because of you know what's happened with their big money transfers February the 18th Brighton Fulham Newcastle Liverpool where is Newcastle Brighton February 25th I'm just looking for the big fixtures and in front of it like okay Christmas World Cup we give you a little break but you don't get a break because you're still playing football Liverpool Man United on March the 4th this is as I say it's just making my mouth full of thinking about the football season just literally being around the corner uh, and obviously, as I said, we've got the EFL fixtures next week. And uh, it's just closing in. Brighton Man United, March the 18th. Brighton Brentford. Liverpool Arsenal. Uh, April the 8th, Spurs Brighton, Southampton Man City, I went to their FA Cup fixture last season and uh, you know it was a pretty good game that game and I think the only thing that changed that game was their Man City penalty, Chelsea Brighton April the 15th Obviously, some of these fixtures will be moved as well. So, Man United, Chelsea, uh, April 22nd. Notts Forest, Brighton, <coughs> April 25th. Pardon me, just there as well. April 25th is Notts Forest versus Brighton. Maybe a trip up the city ground. Southampton Bournemouth midweek game. That's gonna be a very interesting 
in the Greek game. Man City Arsenal as well. Wolves, uh, Brighton Wolves down at the Amex Stadium. Liverpool Spurs. Brighton versus Everton. You really have got, you know, mixed feeling of uh, fixtures here every week. Arsenal versus Brighton, May the 13th, I think, yeah, so, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Brighton versus uh, Spurs, uh, Brighton versus Southampton, sorry, May the 20th. I may just have to go back up in a minute. Villa versus Brighton and that's so right let's see if I can find the Palace Brighton game Palace Bournemouth that could be another interesting one Palace Spurs there Palace West Ham Palace Wolverhampton Palace Everton Palace Southampton Palace Leagues, oh, that's always a tasty fixture. Crystal Palace versus Leicester. Crystal Palace versus Man City. Palace versus Villa. Palace versus Liverpool. Brentford versus Crystal Palace. Palace versus Brighton. There it is. February the 11th. The trip to South House Pass for Brighton. Same week as the Leagues play Man United. And Southampton play Wolves. And West Ham play Chelsea as well. But anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do, especially if you're looking ahead to the new Premier League season. And my vlog coming back. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.